Dear students, welcome back. In this session, we are going to discuss about venous drainage of lower limb. The venous drainage of lower limb is brought about by three sets of veins. One is the superficial set of veins and deep veins and another one is the perforating veins. Superficial veins are uh, present on the superficial fascia and uh, the deep veins are present below the uh, deep fascia and perforating veins which connect um, both the superficial veins and the deep veins. Okay, the superficial veins are mainly great saphenous vein and the small saphenous vein. Okay, if you see the uh, cores of the great saphenous vein, the great saphenous vein is formed by on the dorsum of the foot. Okay, here you can find on the dorsum of the foot by the union of the medial end of the dorsal venous arch and the digital veins from the medial side of the great toe. All this forms the um, great saphenous vein and it ascends in front of the medial malleolus. It is ascends in front of the medial malleolus and obliquely crosses the medial side okay, and passes behind the um, knee joint. This part of the vein is accompanied by the here uh, it is accompanied with saphenous nerve and then it ascends behind the medial side of the knee joint to reach the thigh. Okay, this part of vein is closely related to the saphenous branch of descending genicular artery. So this uh, descending genicular artery which forms uh, the anastomosis with the uh, anastomosis around the knee joint. Okay, in the thigh this vein ascends along the medial margin of the sartorius. Okay medial margin of the sartorius and this vein is uh, here it is related to medial cutaneous nerve of thigh. Finally it um, hooks around the falciform ligament and um, falciform margin sorry not ligament falciform margin of the saphenous opening and pierces the cribriform fascia and ends into the femoral vein. This is the course of um, uh, this great saphenous vein. Okay, the great saphenous vein is this is one of the longest vein in the body. Okay, and this can be easily seen um, uh, throughout the skin. Okay, if you see the areas of drainage by this vein, it drains the superficial tissues of the medial side of the foot, anterior and medial side of the leg and um, the entire thigh and some part of the antero anterior abdominal wall below the level of umbilicus. Okay, if you see the uh, tributaries of this vein, it is having a medial marginal vein. Medial marginal vein. It drains uh, from the medial side of the sole of the foot and it is having communicating vein which connects the great saphenous vein and the small saphenous vein. Okay. And it is also having uh, three main branches, or sorry, three main tributaries, three large tributaries below the knee. One is uh, from the anterior aspect of the leg, one tributary from the anterior aspect of the leg. And um, another one is called as posterior arch vein, which is uh, present uh, on the medial malleolus and which is ascending on the medial side of the calf. Okay. And another one is the located another tributary which is from the calf region and communicating uh, with the short saphenous vein. So these are the three main tributaries which are found in the small uh, great saphenous vein. So what are they? One is the communicating vein, 
another one which is present on the anterior aspect uh, another uh, tributary is present on the medial side of the cough which is extending from medial malleolus okay so these are the tributaries below the knee level and um, if you see it above the knee above the knee it it consists of anterior femoral cutaneous vein which drains from antero medial aspect and another branch um is posterior femoral cutaneous vein it drains the posterior lateral aspect of the thigh posterior lateral aspect of the thigh okay and if you see um still more some of the superficial veins are present which are associated with the superficial femoral arteries one is the superficial external pudendal vein okay another one is superficial circumflex uh, iliac vein and superficial um epigastric vein so uh, these are all um, the tributaries of um, this great saphenous vein if you see the short uh, small saphenous vein which is also formed from the dorsal uh, venous arch on the lateral aspect okay and this one um uh, runs by behind the lateral malleolus and and it travels on the back of the thigh and finally it ends into the popliteal vein and also there are a number of unnamed um, um inconstant tributaries are also present for all these veins and now now the perforators the perforators normally um, which connects the uh superficial veins with that of the deep veins the deep veins or the veins which are uh, mainly associated uh, uh, with the, or accompanied with the large arteries if you can see some of the large arteries we can find here or the uh, we can start from the um, foot we can find the tarsal arteries okay and also metatarsal arteries okay these are also having some deep branches and then posterior tibial artery will have posterior tibial vein anterior tibial artery anterior tibial vein and also the peroneal vein or fibular vein so these are the deep veins which are found below the knee and then at the knee level it is uh, it is having the name as popliteal vein and then femoral vein and finally it uh, end up into external iliac vein these are the deep veins okay and these two veins are connected by this perforating veins okay so perforating veins for example this is the superficial vein and this one is the deep vein and the perforating veins which connect these two veins okay normally this one superficial um veins are located below the or on the superficial fascia or in the superficial fascia and then afterwards you can find the deep fascia and below this deep fascia you can find deep set of veins okay and these perforating veins will connect by piercing the deep fascia and connecting the superficial veins and the deep veins okay these are all about how the veins uh, will drain with their tributaries the collected venous blood from the superficial veins or <coughs> or transferred to the a deep veins through perforating veins and finally it uh, drains into the external iliac vein okay this is about the venous drainage of the lower limb thank you